Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So back to our Java 8 streams interview questions. So this question is something very interesting and it's very famous interview question as well. For example, there are uh, there are multiple numbers in a particular list. For example, let's see number is a 2, then, then we have 220, 2, then we have 234, then 567, then 890, and then again uh, 432, then again 234. And then 211 and then 22. So I have to find out only those numbers which are starting with a 2 actually. You can see the number which is starting with 2, like 2, then 222, uh, 234, and then let's see, this is my 236, and then 211 and then 22. Okay, how will you do that? So that is what we have to think about it because here we have to convert an integer to a string as well. Because we have to check a number which is starting with and it starts with a, a start with is a function with a string, not with integer. And then we have the a list of integers. Fine. So let's see how to do that. So I'll do one thing. These numbers I'm going to store in this particular list. So I'll take this particular uh, list of a string and I just replace a number with this list actually. So just let's see, replace it. And then all the comma separated values that I'm writing it over here. Okay. And let's see, these are the numbers. So what will you do? First of all, that you have to apply a stream. So this is my numbers dot a stream that I'm going to use it. And then I'm writing in a new line or for example, like this a dot map over here. So what exactly we are going to do that we have to convert all the integer to string to perform starts with operation. So that is what I'm going to write that map with what map with the string so that let's see all the elements you get it from the stream and then supply with the lambda and to what and then we have a method a string dot value of method so a string dot value of method is a, a typical manipulation method available in a string which will help me to convert a number to a string and then i just convert this whatever the e number that we are getting just convert that and after that i want to apply a filter so how will you apply a filter i simply write okay fine then dot a filter that i'm going to write and then on what basis? So I simply say, let's see, again, you capture this particular, uh, from map, it will give you another stream and then number of elements will be given to this uh, filter. And then you apply another filter over here. I simple write, okay, E, which is doing what? And then E dot, which is actually, see this method, it starts with method, it start with what? What is your prefix? The prefix I'm looking for two actually, right? And then do what once again, then, then after that, you apply a dot map because we have to get the numbers once again. So that's why we have to convert once again, integer to, uh, integer to string once again. So you can use integer to parse int also, or you can write directly. That is, uh, you can use this wrapper class. And then inside this wrapper class, we have one method. This is called method expression like that. Also, you can write it in Java eight. So you can simply write that, okay, there is one method value of method that you can write it. And then you convert all your string to integer on filtered data that you have captured. And then finally, what you have to collect the file integers in a particular list and then store it over there. And then I'm going to write dot a collect over here. And then what kind of collection that you want to write? So I simply write a collectors dot a to list. I'm going to use it and then give me the complete list over here like this. And then this collect will return what a list of integer. So you store inside the list of integer here. So this is my list of uh, integer only. Okay. And then what kind of list that I'm, I have captured. So this is my a numbers list, which is a starting with two actually. So number with a uh, two, for example, like this, I'm going to write it. Okay. And then I'll just tabbing over here. Perfect. Like this. So this number with two, if you really want to print it on the console, let's see, are we getting the list list or not? All the numbers, which is starting with two, let's see. So let's run it and let's run as Java application. And when you see the console output, yes, awesome. You can see all the numbers are coming from this uh, list. So it will ignore five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. You can see every number is starting with two actually. Right. So it's up to you, which method that you, I mean, which prefix that you want to use. But remember, you have to convert everything into string dot value of then only starts with method will work because this starts with you cannot directly apply on the numbers because number is primitive type. Right. And then start with is what a string type of function. So you have to apply with the string only. 
So that's why the conversion is important. That's why you have to add this particular extra line and then you apply a filter over here. And then you can write, okay, I'm looking for all those numbers which are starting with eight. So the starting with eight, we have only one number, 890. And let's see it is working or not in that case. So see, 890 is coming. And let's say I'm looking for a number which is starting with two, but there is one negative number also, minus 222. So will it consider minus number, negative number also? So let's see, see, it is not considering because see this carefully, minus will behave like a prefix over here. So you have to specifically write minus two or you can write one more or condition that is starting with negative or minus also or hyphen also that also you can write it. So this is your assignment. Let's see who does that Write in the comment section your, with your answer that we have to consider negative minus two also. It means a number which is starting with minus, but minus two as well, positive two and then minus two also. Right. So with hyphen and without hyphen also, we have to consider just take it as a simple assignment. We just need to add one more or filter over here like that. So this is the answer for this question. These are the questions generally people will ask you at a time of interview with respect to Java 8 streams. And then it's up to you how exactly you're solving it. What are different methods you are using in your stream? And then you're good to go. Very simple, very straightforward and super easy guys. Just practice and remember the solution. And then I'm pretty much sure you are good to go with the interview. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching Naveen Automation Labs. That's all for today. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.